Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel and in today's video guys I'm actually going to be showing you probably the best 500k team that you guys can use right now If you guys are looking to increase your foot champions win and move up ranks then this is the video for you This is the squad builder for you because guys this team literally is one of the best in FIFA 21 and it will 100% increase your foot champions wins But with that being said before I go ahead and get into the squad builder I got a quick little message for you guys so let me get straight into it if you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder then all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps all you got to do is simply smash the like button of the video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications right and once you guys have done that take a picture screenshot that head over to my instagram follow my instagram and then dm me that screenshot of you following the steps and once you guys have done that i will then build your squad it's literally that simple it's literally that easy and then you can end up like these guys. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow the steps if you want me to build you your own personal squad. But anyways, enough of the chit chat. I hope you guys do end up enjoying this video. And with that being said, let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so as you guys can see on your screens right now for this insane 500k team The formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-3 third variation And that is only for chemistry purposes at the end of the video once i've actually shown you guys the team I'll then show you what formation to change to in a game But with that being said, let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the first player of this incredible squad builder So in the striker position, we actually do have manchester united's main striker the number nine the man himself Anthony martial this guy Ladies and gentlemen, it's absolutely incredible. He is a player which I really, really do recommend that you guys get in. Whoa, new faces, new faces. Already EA, I didn't even know this, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, Anthony Martial, a very, very overpowered player in this game. As you guys can see, man, he's got four-star skill moves. Yes, he's only got the three-star weak foot, but man, his right foot is so, so deadly. As you guys can see, he's got the pace. He's got 89 sprint speed and 88 acceleration. His finishing is superb. He's got 85 finishing, 84 attacking positioning, and 83 shot power, as well as 83 agility, 87 ball control, 89 dribbling, and 82 composure. He is a fantastic, fantastic strike striker, and I I highly highly recommend him his freestyle weak foot actually isn't that bad especially when you realize who's going to be playing next to him in the striker position but yeah with that being said um we'll move on we'll move on but yeah anthony martial a very very overpowered player so make sure you guys go ahead and use him now in the left wing position ladies and gentlemen we do have an incredible player we really do man he plays for spurs he's korean he goes by the name of hung min sonaldo ladies and gentlemen hung min sonaldo is just ridiculous in this game he's just too good he's too overpowered man he literally is left foot right foot it's gonna hit the back of the net it's literally that simple left foot right foot is hitting the back of the net he's got five star weak foot he's paid his finishing is absolutely insane his dribbling is insane Every, everything about this card is absolutely insane and i'm pretty sure you guys watching this video know that already man i mean the whole fifa community knows this man the whole fifa community knows how overpowered these players are man but homo Sonaldo, one of the best premier league players in the game make sure you guys go ahead and get him as you guys can see four star skill moves five star weak foot you just can't go wrong with that so make sure you go ahead and pick him up but with that being said we're going to move on in towards a left wing position now in this position we actually do i mean the right wing position sorry in this position we actually do have a left wing up because i'm not gonna lie just generally in my opinion i feel like uh right wing is in this game there's not many good right wingers there's literally i could probably just only count on my finger as to how many good and you got to take price into into the into the like consideration as well in terms of price and how actually good players are I just feel like the right wingers are a little bit weak this FIFA and that's just in my opinion obviously you can get the icons the expensive players but most of the fifa community don't have that much coins you know so in terms of like the cheaper end like players under like 400k in my opinion right wingers they're a little bit weak in this game so i feel I, and to be honest i see a lot as well i see everyone using left wingers at, at right wing and i think i'm gonna recommend you guys do the same with alan saint maxima who again has a new picture which looks pretty interesting but yeah make sure you use him as a make sure you buy him as a left winger so he does get seven chemistry but i have alan saint maxima and i i absolutely love him i play him on seven chem as well he's just a beast man he really is he fits the metal of the game he's so agile he's got five star skill means four star weak foot um 93 sprint 
it's been 93 acceleration yes he yes he only has 67 finishing but i'm not gonna lie in game his finishing does feel a lot better than that so i really don't pay too much attention to that and like i said i've got him i've played so many games of him if you guys go back and watch my foot champions highlights um then you guys will be able to see that i use saint maximum you guys will be, you guys will be able to see how good he performs for me but yeah fantastic player dribbling absolutely incredible just a good good winger so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up alan saint maximum now moving on in towards the central center mid spot we actually do have another brazilian well not another our first brazilian in the team he goes by the name of bobby firmino firmino a stone cold finisher he is in this game i'm not gonna lie a little bit different in into in, in comparison to real life i'm not gonna lie but in this game he is a stone cold finisher left foot right foot again it's gonna hit the back of the net he's got five star uh, skill moves as well i think his dribbling is also very good and he's also more agile this fifa which is another thing that i do like about firmino i feel like last fifa he was a little bit agile but this fifa i've noticed a, a, a huge difference in, in in his agility so again firmino is one of the most meta players in the game in my opinion especially from that cam position he's so effective in that position because he's got good dribbling good passing good shooting um a decent amount of pace and very very good skill moves and weak foot so yeah a very very good cam high high work creates a very very overpowered player so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up roberto fermino but we're going to move on ladies and gentlemen we're going to move on and in towards the left cdm position we do have yet another Frenchman, yet another Spurs player in the team. Of course, it's going to be the one and only um, Musa Sissoko. Just a tank, man. Literally, it's, it's just that simple. This guy's just a beast in the midfield. He runs that midfield. He controls that midfield. He is just a tank. I recommend you guys go ahead and get him absolutely overpowered in the game. Super, super strong. Very good defensively. Pacey as well. You can't go wrong. Musa Sissoko, just a beast of a player. Make sure you guys go ahead and get him. It's literally that simple. But in towards the right CDM position we go, we got another year. United boy he goes by the name of Fred honestly Fred I love him in this game honestly like guys if you oh man because obviously in my foot champs in my foot champs highlights I don't really like I only show the goals literally I just show the goals I don't show like chances or or tackles made by by um defenders on unless they're really really good ones um but yeah I don't really generally see so, like I don't generally show a lot of um like defensive gameplay it's always you know the goals that, that you're gonna see and the goals that I can see obviously but if you were to just watch a full game when we playing with Fred oh this guy man he's a beast guys he literally couldn't like him and Sissoko oh, it's, it's, it's gonna be a crazy pair because Fred is just so quick he's so tenacious he wins the ball back so well yes I know he like he's not strong as you can see the stats there says he's not strong but in game man he really does hold his own he can really really hold his own I just think that he's just a mini cheap Kante in my opinion just a fantastic player good on the ball good at dribbling good skill he's good weak foot I think he's so good so complete and I just he genuinely is like one of my favorite midfielders in the game man in my current team I use him and Valverde at the moment you guys will be able to see that with my foot champs highlights um later this weekend but um yeah again Fred an absolute beastly player man highly highly recommend you guys go ahead and get him slap a shadow on him and he's just gonna work you wonders but yeah um an absolutely incredible player make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but we're gonna move on we're gonna move on in towards the defense now in the right back position we got another United player he goes by the name of Juan Bissaka the best one-on-one -on -one defender in world football I don't care what anyone tells me this no one gets past him all right no one gets past him not Neymar not Ronaldo, not Messi. No, uh, you know what? To be fair, we haven't seen Messi come up against Wan Bissaka yet, but I'd love to see it. Neymar has already got clamped by Wan Bissaka. Ronaldo hasn't really come up against Wan Bissaka, but he can hold it too. He can hold smoke from Wan Bissaka too, because anyone that passes or well, that tries to get past Wan Bissaka is holding smoke. Okay, Wan Bissaka defensively in real life and in this game is absolutely incredible. All right, make sure you guys go ahead again in my current team again. I've used him quite a lot in foot champs and that. Absolutely love him, man. Pacey, very, very good at defending. As you guys can see, man, come on, look at that 90 slide tackling. Of course, he's going to have high slide tackling. Have you seen this guy play in real life? Absolute beast, man. So good defensively. You absolutely love him in this game um yeah again he's pacey with 88 sprint speed and 84 acceleration and again he's got four star skill moves which is another thing that i do like about wan bisaka but with that being said man i recommend him definitely one of the best right backs in the game but we're gonna move on anyways in towards the left back position and in this position we got another frenchman but this time it is from the bundesliga he goes by the name of rosillon who i like to call the cheap mendy because i just think that he's so pacey so strong and so good at defending um yeah he's a player which i recommend you guys go ahead and 
get as you guys can see man all, all these face changes all these face changes are really like getting to me man they they literally so di they literally all look so different from what they from what they had previously but um yeah as you guys can see Rusilion, um a very very good card 88 sprint speed 87 acceleration so he's got the pace and then you combine it with like a shadow on him it's crazy it's crazy and then you've got the defending ability as well with him decent defensive stats 76 strength 76 um, standing tackle and 77 slide tackle so not too bad but overall just a very very good cheap overpowered fullback now we're going to move on in towards the center of the partnership and we're going to start off with the left center back position we got another frenchman this time it's from barcelona he goes by the name of clemor longley longley in this game is crazy i really do like him honestly i think he's even better um this year than he was last year i really do think he is Honestly, I think um, uh, last year he was very, very overpowered. Everyone knows that. But this year, I really think he, like he's a top-notch defender. He really is. Um, Yeah, I highly, highly recommend that you guys go in and get him defensively. He's crazy. And even in-game, he feels very, very fast without a shadow on him. So, yeah, I still recommend you guys get a shadow with him, though. But, yeah, honestly, he's pacey strong good at defending just a very very good center back he gets the job done he does what he needs to do make sure you guys go ahead and get him and now moving on in towards the right center back position we got diego carlos man you guys know my affection towards diego carlos man just uh, just just go in go in on the sticks diego carlos is honestly when i use diego carlos it makes me go it on the sticks. He's insane, guys. He's absolutely insane. Make sure you guys go ahead and get him. And damn, he looks so different from before. What the hell have they done? He looks like a different person compared to last time. Blimey. Um, but yeah, Diego Carlos, fantastic. As you guys can see, man, it's a sad day. I don't have him. In my, I don't have him in my team anymore, guys. I don't have him in my team. You, I literally last video, last squad video I did around the night. I told you guys I was getting that card and I was making a team around him, and that's exactly what I did. And I cannot wait to showcase it to you in Foot Champions. So listen, if you want to see the highlights, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff because oh, that denier card is crazy. But guys. Diego Carlos, world class, world class centre back in FIFA 21, get him, make sure you guys go in and get him, he's strong, pacey, good at defending, gets the job done, he clamps everyone, so make sure you guys go ahead and get him, but anyway, to complete this incredible 500k team, in the goalkeeper position, we got the one and only, a cheap beast, he got a massive downgrade compared to last FIFA, but he goes by the name of Roberto Neto, he used to be 85 rated, now he's 82 rated, but it's still, he's still a quality keeper, very good reflexes, very, very good diving, and decent positioning, and that is why I do like him, but overall, He's a good, good player. But anyways, guys, as you can see, this is the incredible 500k team. It's going to increase your ranking for champions, but we're not done here. I've got two things to tell you. One of them is the formation change. And quickly, I want to tell you guys, make sure you get everyone in the correct positions, all right? I don't want to get any comments telling me why is it not full chem. Literally, with a manager and everyone on full chemistry uh, or in the right position, sorry, it will be full chemistry, all right? The only person that will be off chem which will be on 7 chem, is St. Maximus. So convert him to a left winger and he'll be on um, 7 chemistry, all right? But St. Maximus on 7 chem is a beast and I still really do recommend it. But with that being said, the formation that you guys want to change to in-game is actually the 4... Um, it's actually the 4 2 3 1 formation. The 4 2 3 1 formation, in my opinion, it works very, very well. It really does. You could use the 4 4 2, but I, if you use the 4 4 2, I'd say put Firmino out wide, and I just don't think Firmino should go out wide. But um, yeah, in this formation, I think this is actually how I would do it. Honestly, I would leave Martial out wide, and that is because Hungman Sonaldo, that five star weak foot, having it up front. Ah man, it's crazy. It's a game changer. It's a game changing move, and that is why I'm going to recommend it to you guys. So, Hungman Sonado up front, Firmino in the cam position, Anthony Martial on the left, Saint Maximin on the right, Fred Sissoko as the two DMs, and of course the defensive lineup will stay the same. So, guys, that is how you want to set up the team in game, and bang, you're going to start winning more games in Foot Champions, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you go ahead and do it. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Sorry for no gameplay today, guys, but soon there will be some more gameplay squad builders you guys know that i can't do it every every single video because just a lack of time and things like that and also sometimes i don't even have the coins myself to to afford these teams but um yeah with that being said guys this team is crazy i've literally used everyone in this team just not as a, as as one together um but yeah i really really do recommend you guys get this team so make sure you guys go ahead and do it make sure to follow my instagram subscribe turn on post notifications all that good stuff and without further ado it's been your boy rb plays and i'll catch you in the next one peace